Suppose it costs eight dollars to roll a pair of dice. You get paid one dollar times the sum of the numbers that appear on the dice. Is it a fair game? Is it a fair game? So, um, we've got to figure out what you're going to get paid on average in this game. That's what it's all about. This is, notice they're mentioning expected value right here. So that's what we have to figure out, the expected value. So how do we figure out expected value? Remember, you got to break it into the different outcomes. So you have outcome number one, outcome number two, etc. And that is probability one times value one, plus probability two times value two, where the P's are the probability of outcome number one, and the V's are the dollar value of the various outcomes, outcome number one, plus, etc., for however many outcomes you have. Okay, so do you, do you get the idea what they're talking about? You're going to get paid one dollar times the sum of the numbers that appear on the dice. You're going to roll a pair of dice. So you're going to roll two dice, and you're going to get one dollar times the sum of the numbers. Oh, so this is a this is not an easy question. We first have to realize that we're rolling a pair of dice, two dice, and we're talking about the sum. So we have to make that chart that we've made before, where we lay out rolling two dice. So let's let's do that over here. So I'll do that. So there we go, and now we gotta put in this chart all the numbers. Anytime they roll two dice and talk about the sum of the numbers, you've gotta whoops, that was a mistake. You gotta make this chart. The six by six ray. Be good to have this. Write on your notes for the next exam. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the chart, the different things, one and one, one and two, etc. Okay, so there they are. There's the 36 different things that can happen when we roll two dice. Now we have to do the sum. So remember the main diagonal right here, all the dice on this main diagonal, the sum is 7. See how they all add up to 7, 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, etc. The next diagonal, whoops, got off a little bit there. They all add up to 8. The next diagonal... They all add up to 9. The next diagonal, the sum is 10 here. The sum is 11 right here. The sum is 12. Going backwards, the sum is 6. The sum is 5. The sum is 4. The sum is 3, and the sum is 2. Okay, so we have all that now. So now, what's, what's the question? You get paid, when you roll the two dice, you get $1 times the sum of the numbers that appear in the dice. So to figure this out, and we want the expected value. 
And so to figure out the expected value, we've got to go through the various outcomes. You could get a sum of 2 or a sum of 3. You could roll the two dice and get a sum of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or keep going, you can get a sum of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. So you get any of these sums. They're all possible. And um, so now we have to figure out for each of these outcomes, that those are the various outcomes, right? So what we do for expected values, we take each thing that can happen, each possible outcome, and multiply the probability of that outcome times the value of that outcome. What's the probability of getting a sum of 2? Well, sum of 2 is only 1. There's only one box there, so it's 1 out of 36, out of 36 boxes, Times, and what's the money you get if you roll a sum of two? Remember, you get one dollar times the sum. So if the sum's only two, you get only two dollars. Write that a little bit better there. Only get two dollars. Plus, then you add these up. What's the chance of getting a sum of three? Sum of three has two possibilities. Doesn't. There's one possibility here, two there. See how it just goes up? Three, four, five, six possibilities here, then back down to five, four, three, two, and one for the various sums. So possibility here is two out of 36 times. And what, what money do you get? You get a dollar times the sum. So you get three dollars if you did that. Plus, what's probably the sum of four? Sum of four. Right down here, it's 3 out of 36. 3 out of the 36 boxes have a sum of 4. And if you do that, you get $4 plus sum of 5. Just goes up 1 each time. So I'm going to go 4 out of 36 times $5 plus 5 out of 36 times $6. Keep going. Plus, for a sum of 7, that's 6 out of 36. Right? To get a sum of 7, that's the main diagonal. That's the most likely sum when you roll 2 dice. 6 out of 36 times you get $7 for that. Now, sum of 8 starts going back down. To get a sum of 8, it's only 5 out of 36 of the boxes. There's a 5, 36 chance you'll get a sum of 8. You get $8 for that, 4... 36 is the chance of getting a sum of 9. You get $9 for that. 3, 36 is the chance of getting a sum of 10. You get $10 for that. 2, 36 is the chance of getting a sum of 11. You get $11 of that. And 1 out of 36, there's only one box out of 36 that's a sum of 12. You get $12 for that. So we got to take our calculator now, add all those up. Does that make sense? I'm going to take... Starting here, 1 divided by 36 times $2 plus, and then here, 2 divided by 36 times $3 plus, etc. Just keep on going. I'll do it real quick as well. If you want to save time, 36 is the denominator for all of them. You could just multiply all the other numbers, but if it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. I got exactly seven dollars. So that's the expected value. In other words, that's the average. So in other words, if you played this game hundreds and hundreds of times where you rolled the two dice and they paid you one dollar for times the total, you know, whatever the numbers added up to be, that's what you got. On average, 
after hundreds and hundreds of times, you would make $7 on average. So that's the average. So let's go back up here to answer that question. So the expected value of the game, without considering the cost, is $7. So notice, on average, you can expect to get paid $7 when you roll those two dice. And they said it costs $8 to play the game. So is that a fair game? No. It's not a fair game because they're charging you more than you're going to get paid on average. And that's how casino games always are. This is exactly what casinos do to make sure they're going to make money is they figure out the average amount of money you're going to get from the game on average and then they charge you just a little bit more than that. So you'll still win sometimes, lose sometimes, but on average, you'll steadily lose and they'll steadily make money. That's what happens. There's no such thing as a gambler who consistently makes money. The only way you could do that is if you cheated by counting cards in blackjack or something like that, and they don't allow that. They, they watch for that constantly and kick you right out. Nobody, nobody makes money in gambling consistently. Nobody. Don't, don't fool yourself. It's important to know if you, if you uh, enjoy that and it's good entertainment, that, that's fine, I guess. And you can um, just know you're going to give them some money like any other kind of entertainment. But if you go there thinking you're going to win, that's when they've got you. Those are the people that lose their cars and houses and families because of they don't understand the math. The casinos have figured it out. They know the average value, expected value is the exact calculation they do. They know the average amount of money that each game is going to pay, and they charge just a little bit more than that, so that on average, you're going to steadily lose money. And so there's how you calculate it, and there's the answer.